What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode here on Hawk Bergman. So what we are going to do today is work on getting the uh, cow pasture set, or not the cow pasture, but the cow barn uh, set up here. So let's go ahead and throw this on there. Uh, we are going to need it for a couple of things. So for now what we could do is we need to switch to the tractor here. Let's get this thing whipped around because we're gonna need uh, the bale for bale spikes. We'll go ahead and hop out of here. Get this thing lowered down. And let's uh, let's get the bale spike hooked up. So what I'm gonna do first here is get uh, some straw put into the cow barn so that is ready to go and then we'll switch over to our cedar and get some grass planted uh, in our second field uh, actually we need to cultivate first which I forgot to do in the last one uh, because I don't have the direct uh, direct drill I don't think I never did check to see if that was a direct drill so I'll have to uh, check on that. Alright, so this is probably going to take a couple of bales. So let's see. Let's get the... Let's get this one. We could probably do two at a time. With this, uh, with this weight on the back of it. But uh, we'll, we'll try that next time. We'll see how that goes. So let's go ahead and tilt that back so it doesn't come off again. So yeah, to uh, put the straw into this cow barn, you have to come into this gate. And uh, put that there. And there we go. You can see it is loading it in. So this is actually probably going to take a little bit, so bear with me here. Alright, let's see if we can get two bales. So if we line up with these two right here. Oh yeah, this thing holds two bales just fine. This is a very, very large weight on the back of this thing. This will speed up the process just a little bit, so I think we can just come in this far right here and it'll be okay. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so... Let's see, straw, 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 straw. So it's not going to show us because we don't have any cows in there. Uh, but we could just... We could just keep going until it doesn't take any more and we'll leave the bale in. If there's anything left and it'll just uh, keep topping it off as it's needed. So we'll grab two more. Nope, I don't want that. There we go. How's everybody doing out there? Hopefully you're doing wonderful. I'm doing absolutely fantastic. those two in there yeah so you can see it's full now so we'll just leave those two in there to uh, continue to top it off as it's needed so we we'll go ahead and close that up and uh, we'll back out of here and we'll go ahead and close that up as well so I'm gonna go over here real quick and get this all sorted out here 
There we go. Super cool feature. Absolutely love that. Alright, so that is all secured. And we'll go ahead and park this uh, bell spike back up over here. And then I'll uh, grab the cultivator. Actually, let's... While we're here, while we're thinking about it, let's go to Cedars. And if we go to... This guy... Oh yeah, sorry. I forgot to have the mod in here that lines it up by price. Uh, so this guy right here... Cedar offers possibility to seed directly. No previous cultivating or plowing is necessary. Uh, I'm not a big fan of that, to be honest, on this save. Not a big fan of it. So we're looking at 5.2 meters. That's three. That's three. Three. These are all three. Uh, this is 2.8. 2.8. Yeah, so we're getting up into big money here. So we may end up just, we'll just, we'll, we'll keep that. Um, I do want to cultivate the field. That was one of the steps that I wanted to have to do in this particular save. And I did not realize that, uh, that cedar was a direct drill, direct seed. We'll go ahead and get hooked up to the big bag handler here because we are going to need to top off that cedar. Go ahead and shut that off so we save some fuel here. We'll uh, get around here and get this. I'm going to have to move the weeder out of the way in order to get to it. Alright, let me get this all set up and ready to go, and I'll bring you guys back in here in just a second. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get our GPS set here. Probably go to about right there, should be a good spot. Maybe a little bit over... There we go. Right there. And we'll go ahead and set that. If we miss any little bits, it'll be okay. We can go back and fix that. But I think we got it just fine here. So this uh, this doesn't seem like it's going to take very long. Uh, with this, it's moving pretty fast. I will go ahead and do the uh, bottom here. Not going to worry about GPS for this. We'll just do a couple of passes across the bottom, give us some room to turn around. Kind of the same thing we did there when we were seating and all that. Alright, that field is looking very nice. Yeah, so uh, the goal for this episode is probably get two cows and just start with the two cows. We'll see how much they are. Uh, I think they're like 200 if you buy the... Well, no, because this this uh, this this map is custom like pretty much everywhere, so I don't know exactly how much they are. But we will try to get two cows. Uh, that way we can... Uh, start breeding and getting some milk for our cheese and butter production. Alright, then we'll do our pass up the other side here. I absolutely love this map, though. I I'll tell you what, though. There is a map that I, I wish I would have started a series on. Uh, before already uh, and, and that's Calm's Den but 
He's he's got another map coming out. So I think it's Court Farms. Absolutely excited for that map. I will be doing a series on that when it comes out. Uh, been branching out away from the U.S. based maps, as you guys know, and uh, I am absolutely loving it. It just opens up a whole new experience to the game, you know what I mean? So I believe this is straight across. So if I go Alt-C, yeah. That's gonna put me over there though. That'll be okay. Yeah, that'll be fine. We'll do another two passes back the other or one direction. One pass going back the other way and then one pass coming back and then we'll start doing the rest of our up downs here. You know, I thought it was going to be a little bit of a struggle with this tractor, but I got to be honest with you, I absolutely love this tractor. Love the way it sounds, love the way it looks. It's uh, It's got plenty of power for a uh, start from nothing kind of setup. And we'll do one more pass back the other way. Careful not to mess up our nice pretty field over there. There we go. Yeah, Court Farms. Uh, if you have not seen that map yet, go check out the Facebook page for Oxygen David and uh, yeah take take a look at the pictures that he has of that so far it is just absolutely beautiful the way it is coming out all right so I'm gonna go ahead and plug away at this and bring you guys back whenever it's finished up all right, we are plugging away here. We got the field cultivated and I went ahead and got the headlands and everything done for the seeding and we're putting the rest of the seed down now. And just make sure we reach all the way to the end. There we go. Get this thing spun around. Alright, this will probably struggle just a little bit going up the hill, but it'll be okay. I should really go to manual uh, with this tractor, but I think we'll be okay for now. It seems to be sorting itself out pretty good. Well, maybe not. <laughs> And it's, it's really just the uh, this uphill section right here. We could always just go downhill if we really wanted to, but I think it'll be all right. There we go. Gonna pick it up. We'll go ahead and skip a row here. Yeah, it goes downhill just fine. Not a problem. So we may end up having to go downhill for the rest of it. Go to the outside here so you can kind of see what's going on.
I mean, we could actually do it without skipping a row. Oops. Alright, maybe not. <laughs> there we go. i drop that down right there. So yeah, this is going to be our grass field. We have that small old school mower that we're going to be cutting with, uh, as well as the wind rower. Uh, and all of that. So I think what we're going to need to do is get some hay. Uh, and put the hay in for feed for now. And uh, we will work on getting some TM... Uh, excuse me, some uh, TMR uh, later on. I'm not going to go to the store and buy TMR. I'm uh, just going to go ahead and run some hay for our feed for now. Uh, we could do grass, but grass doesn't really do much of anything as far as the production rate goes. So hay is going to be our next best bet. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the uh, fresh start on this series. We're three episodes in here, and uh, I'm absolutely, I, I really, honestly, I couldn't be happier that I, I restarted this uh, series with, um, you know, the equipment that I have now, which, unfortunately, I ended up losing the save before, so it was a little bit of a different situation. I did everything I could to get it back, but it just, it just, there, it was nowhere to be found in my files, so... I do have all that sorted out now, and uh, I have a specific hard drive set aside to uh, house all of my backup saves uh, for everything. Struggled a little bit going uphill there. Not too bad. Right. So we got one, two, three, four, five more passes to do here. I'll go ahead and uh, knock the rest of this out and bring you guys back here in just a little bit. All right, we got that all finished up, and we're gonna go ahead and get this thing parked back in its spot here. See if I can get through here without hitting the fence this time. Yeah, this, uh, this cedar is definitely not designed for this, uh, this kind of map. That's alright. We'll make it work for now. Get this thing backed in here. Yeah, there we go. Nope, 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 nope. Spoke too soon. And straighten it up. There we go. Right there will be good. So we've got both of our fields all planted and ready to go. Now we just have to wait for them to grow. And uh, we'll see what we have to, which we don't really know uh, what our uh, data is on the fields we haven't purchased those yet so we don't we don't know I, I want to do it the old school way and have to go get the scout and do it that way so I think what we'll do is I think we're done with this so we'll go ahead and actually I think I'm gonna go ahead and just park this big bag handler in here since uh, we're going to be using it for this primarily. Alright, we'll go ahead and get this weight dropped off as well. I don't think we'll be needing this tractor 
anymore today. Go ahead and lower that down, and we need to we need to go ahead and pick up our shelf as well. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. We should uh, definitely look into getting a pressure washer or something, you know, like a garden hose or whatever. So we can uh, kind of wash our equipment up as we use it and get it dirty. Which I actually kind of enjoy uh, dirty equipment, so just makes it look used. All right, so what are we going to do next? Okay, so we are here at our chicken coop, and we're going to go ahead and pick up the rest of this manure here. Make sure we get it all here. Yep, looks good. There we go. Let's back up this way. We'll get it dumped and probably go ahead and top off the food and everything. There we go. We'll just dump it in a pile here. So let's go ahead and top off the food since we're over here. And we'll double check the water. As you can see, it's raining, so that's nice. There we go. I don't know how long it takes for these ducklings and chicks to uh, grow up. And I don't know how often they reproduce, so... There we go, that should be fine for that. And we should honestly get a water container over here. Go ahead and drop that right there, and we should be okay on the straw for now. We'll go ahead and just close this up. I went ahead and moved the eggs over here out of the way, so we can continue to get some more eggs. So let's uh, let's go ahead and top off the water since we're over here. Excuse me. Nope, that's not the button I wanted to push. There we go. All right, it is now full. Let's get this straightened back out. Then we'll uh, we'll just place it back under the faucet to continue to fill up. There we go. Get that closed up. Chickens are taken care of for today. Let's check the map here and see what our fields are looking like. All right, so they are still growing. We'll uh, take a little walk over there. I am going to periodically use the speed up and slow down, you know, player speed mod uh, just for getting around a little bit quicker. Yep, so you can see everything is looking good over here. It needs rolling, uh, but I'm not going to concern myself with rolling at the moment. Uh, we don't have a roller. Or any of that. So we are going to be just fine. Nothing to worry about. Get back over here to the farm. Get this closed up. Alright. Oh, forgot to park this thing. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Excuse me. Alright, there we go. I believe that is going to do it for this episode, you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button. Feel free to comment down below with any uh, tips, tricks, or suggestions. And uh, all of that. And yeah, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.